Oak wilt is a serious tree disease, one of the most serious tree diseases in the eastern United States because of how rapidly it can kill trees. Uh, trees in the red oak family, it can kill within uh, two to six weeks. In New York State, there's currently six infections in which we're uh, managing the disease. The public is our first line of defense for detection. Once we've confirmed oak wilt in an area, we're able to manage it before it becomes uncontrollable. All the leaves wilted in uh, June. And within two weeks, uh, uh, the leaves turned brown and started coming off. And probably sometime in July, the tree was, all the leaves were off the tree. So we, I'd never seen a tree die like that and all of a sudden. The confirmation in, uh, of Oak Wilt and Glenville was such a big deal because it was the first time it was found in the state. Um, and is pretty much the first time it was found in the Northeast. Uh, DEC's response for when we found Oak Wilt, we, uh, we went into a rapid response mode. We, uh, we wanted to try to eradicate Oak Wilt out of the neighborhood. And we started to uh, work in collaboration with a town and then also working with the landowners as part of providing information to them, letting them understand what our plan was. We tagged the, uh, the initial trees that we confirmed had Oak Wilt in them and then we did a 150 foot buffer around those trees, removed all red oaks within that, that buffer. Um, in a couple places, we were able to dig the trenches around to try to protect the trees, but all the other trees, they were removed. We, uh, we chipped all the, uh, the trees on site. We treated the stumps, we came back, we ground the stumps that we could as far as in the yards, and then afterwards, we went in and we planted sugar maples at each of the house sites that we, uh, we removed trees from. Every year we were doing uh, helicopter flights to monitor the overall health throughout the whole Glenville area. And then where any trees that we see that are potentially showing symptoms, we go out, we, we look at them. If, if we feel that there's even more of a concern, we try to take samples, send them to, uh, to the lab to try to see whether or not there is any, any issues we should be uh, concerned about. And we also do a lot of driving through the neighborhood, um, just kind of keeping an eye on if there's any trees that we can see from the ground. We interact with the local tree crews just to see if they're seeing anything because they're kind of our eyes and ears on the ground also. I was pretty involved every time DEC was here. I think they did a good job. They kept us informed. You know, they had to come in and grind out the stump. They had to get in and cut the trees. I mean, they used big cranes. They were very cooperative in, uh, you know, protecting our yard. I enjoyed working with them. Glad that we were able to play a role in helping out through the state of New York. The best time to observe symptoms of oak wilt is during July and August. So when 4th of July rolls around, that's time to start looking for oak wilt symptoms. The general symptoms of oak wilt are basically the casting of leaves while the leaves still have green on them. Now oaks tend to hold on to their leaves really late during the colder seasons. So if it's midsummer and all of a sudden you see your tree rapidly lose its leaves, uh, that could be an indication that it has oak wilt. Now oak wilt also has a discoloration that happens to the leaves. It's usually orange or brown. It occurs from the tip of the leaf towards the base of the leaf and on the edges of the leaf. You may also uh, observe a wilting or a scorched look to the leaf. Avoid pruning during the growing season. Pruning won't save your oaks, but pruning at the proper time will reduce your risk of healthy trees getting the disease. So please prune your oaks during October through February when the trees do not have their leaves.